you know, as we think about your teams at UCLA as well as the other places you've coached, uh, many would say, of course, you've been very successful, but you have a little bit different definition of success than I think others do. Can you tell us about that? Well, I go back to my dad uh, uh, and trying to coin my own definition of success, which I did in 1934. I was unhappy with the way many parents judge the success of their youngster or the teacher in my English classes. If they didn't make an A or a B, some parents would make the youngster or the teacher feel that they had failed, and I didn't like that. And I noticed most parents, if the, if the <coughs> neighbor's children got a C, the average grade, that was all right, because neighbor's children are all very average. But for their own, no, they didn't like that. I didn't <laughs> like that way of judging, and uh, I wanted to come up with something on a definition of my own. And there are two or three things entered into it. My father in teaching, as I'm on one of them, never tried to be better than someone else. Never tried to be better than someone else. You have no control over that. But never cease trying to be the best you can be and learn from others. And um, then I ran across a very simple verse that said, at God's footstool to confess, a poor soul knelt and bowed his head. I failed, he cried. The master said, thou didst thy best. That is success. And I believe that is true. And then I recalled a class discussion of success, which I'd been in a number of years before. And from those, I coined my own definition of success. Success is peace of mind attained only through self-satisfaction in knowing you made the effort to do the best of which you're capable, and you're the only one that will know that. I have a book for children out with another fellow called Inch and Miles. Now, for children, I define success a little differently. I define it as happiness in your heart in knowing you tried your best. Now, my daughter, who's over 70, said, Dad, I understand that a little better now. I never did understand that peace of mind business, but <laughs> happiness in your heart, I do.